install Python 3.11 in Windows 11. Here I am at python.org and in Windows 11 and I'm going to download Python 3.11 to install in Windows 11. Click over here on Downloads. Click on Python 3.11. Up pops this up. I'm going to put it into the Downloads directory. Click Save. And so it's saved. Now, of course, you can run it from right here, but you may be using a different browser. So I'm going to actually go to the File Explorer. Go to the Downloads directory. And here it is. I'm going to click on it. And up will come. Install Python 3.11. Now I'm going to point some things out here. It says Install Now. And it's going to go to your local directory program. Only this user can actually use Python 3.11, but that's how it's being installed currently. Also, you come down here, you have to use admin privileges when installing. But I strongly urge you to click right here where it says Add Python EXE to Path. And that will make working with Python a lot easier on Windows 11. So click it. And then come back up here and install it. You know, you notice it says includes idle and pip. All versions of Python currently come with pip. And idle is an integrated development and learning environment. Personally, I prefer to use something like Thani or PyCharm or even Visual Studio as opposed to idle. But everyone has their own preferences. So let's go ahead and install. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click Yes. And it will take about two minutes to install. So Python is installed. Now you've got a choice here. It says Disable Path Length Limit. Again, I strongly urge you to disable the path length limit because if you do any work with Python, this will make it a lot easier. So click on that and then click a Yes again. So now it says Setup was successful. I'm not ready to take Windows Word for it, so I'm going to double check on that. Close that. Close the browser. Open up PowerShell. PowerShell. And so I will just say Python dash dash version. Spell that correctly. Python 3.11. It's there. So let me open up a uh, interpretive shell here, or Python shell. Windows allows just typing in Py instead of the whole Python. Hit enter. I'm going to create a variable string equal Windows 11 world and then print and then I'm going to use an F string hello curly Q brace str closing curly Q brace closing quotation marks closing parenthesis hit enter and it works now one thing that I want to install besides Python in here is PyWin32 for VirtualBox 7 now you do not need PyWin32 unless you're actually going to do some programming with VirtualBox 7, but I'm just going to install it because it requests it when I use VirtualBox 7. So in order to do that, I'll exit here, Control Z, and then return. And let me check my pip version, PIP space dash dash version. So pip is there. If you did not click on adding Python to your path, you may not see anything. But one way to get around it is to go to Python or just simply py-m because pip comes with Python. So if you use py-m, the dash m stands for module and then go pip and we're going to install pywin32. I suppose I should have mentioned it to people who are not familiar with Python that pip is the Python package manager that comes with Python. And I hit enter. 
So now it's installed, but it also gives me a message that it says a new release of pip is available. It says run python.exe-m pip install dash dash upgrade pip. So I could do that. I would just use py. py is an alias for python.exe dash m pip install upgrade pip. Hit enter. And so that's installed also in the user local directory where Python is. And that's pretty much it for installing Python 3.11 and also the PyWin32 module that VirtualBox 7 gives you a warning about. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.